Garrett Lee, student veteran at John Kerry University. I'm here to help you get ready for the Military Fitness Challenge. This is going to be a fun, competitive event. In order to get the highest score possible to get that TV, you need to make sure you have the proper technique. The two mile run is fairly straightforward. You're running around a track. But the other components of the PT test have specific standards. Some of my fellow veterans will help demonstrate what will and will not count for the push-ups, the pull-ups, and the crunches section of the competition. First, Nick will demonstrate proper form for push-ups. For this event, you will do as many quality push-ups as you can in two minutes. Your grader will count them out loud for you. In order for the push-up to count, you must have a straight back in the ready position. Your feet can be together or up to 12 inches apart. You may also do the push-ups on your fists. When you dip down, your arms should come to a full 90 degree angle. Your chest or stomach can touch the ground, but only momentarily. You must return to the starting position until your arms are fully extended. You can rest at the ready position, but not on the floor. These two varieties are acceptable. Buttocks in the air or a slight sag. You can also adjust your hand position by sliding them in or out, making sure your hands do not leave the ground. The following examples would not count. Having your buttocks in the air or not dipping down far enough. If you take your hands or feet off the ground, your test is complete. Remember, only push-ups with proper technique will count. Great form, Nick. Next, Savio will demonstrate proper crunches. This is a timed event and your grader will count your repetitions. You can have a holder sitting or standing on your feet, whichever is comfortable for you. You must maintain proper form throughout your two minute window. When lying on your back, your arms should be folded across your chest and locked at the elbows. They must remain in this position for each rep. Your feet will be flat on the floor and your knees must be bent at least at a 90 degree angle. To come up into the crunch position, your forearms must touch your thighs. Your hips and buttocks cannot leave the ground. When you recline back, your shoulder blades and back must touch the ground for the next rep to be counted. The following examples would not count. If you are reaching with your elbows, or if your hips come off of the ground, or if your back does not touch the ground in between repetitions. So make sure you maintain proper form so that your repetitions are counted. And finally, Darren and Alex will demonstrate pull ups. This is not a timed event. You will do as many pull-ups with the proper technique until you can do no more. The participant must mount the bar and come to a full dead hang. Palms facing either outward or inward. Your grader will tell you when to begin. When pulling up, your chin must break the plane of the bar and then return to a full dead hang with arms locked for each pull-up to count. You can have a spotter put an arm out in front to keep you from swaying excessively. The pull-up will not count if you kip, bicycle kick, or sway excessively. If your chin does not clear the plane of the bar, it will not count. When you cannot do any more pull-ups, carefully drop off the bar. For females, you have the option to do pull-ups as demonstrated by Darren or adhere to the Marine Corps flex arm hang, which is a timed event. Females can step up to the starting position on the bar and timing will begin once your feet leave the step and your body is not swaying. Your arms must be flexed at the elbow with palms facing forward or backwards and your chin must be held above the bar. You can drop below the bar with your arms still flexed, but timing stops when your arms are fully extended or you drop off the bar. Now that you know how you'll be graded, there's no excuses time comes. It's time to start practicing. The competition is on Monday, November 11th. There's 
still time to get ready. We, all as a group, look forward to seeing you on the game.